episode 574, Unique Ideas to Show Teacher Appreciation. The 10-Minute Teacher Podcast with Vicki Davis. Every weekday, you'll learn powerful, practical ways to be a more remarkable teacher today. Plan your professional development now. The holidays are a great time to get ahead on your PD. Stay tuned at the end of the show to learn how advancement courses can help you and for a discount. Oh, I love the conversations that happen on Twitter. We have Andre Sasser with us, who is a 10-year teacher from Louisiana. She was on episode 364. She has a tweet that 14 million people liked and are still liking. And you can listen back to that episode about that awesome tweet that she shared. But today, Andre, you and I have been having a conversation about things that are really show teacher appreciation. And you had some really cool ideas that your school has done. So why don't you share the first one, the one that got me really excited and you have a template for it and everything. Okay, sure. So last year I was the student council advisor at my high school and teacher appreciation week is a pretty big deal at our school. Um, Several of the clubs and the administration, they take turns feeding us lunches and breakfast all week. It's It's a pretty big deal. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I had On Pinterest, I had saved uh, a room service idea. So basically, you make the little door hanger and you hang it on their door and they can, it has a little menu and they selected what they wanted. The students picked them up and then we delivered their treat to them. Cool. Now, when you delivered, did you do anything special upon delivery? Uh, we had the students do it. So we had a little cart and we had the ice chest and all the drinks and the um, the snacks on the cart. And the kids went through during the hour and knocked on their door. And it was it was neat just to see the kids get to go give them their little treats. Yeah. So how do the teachers feel about it? Oh, they were super excited. Most of them wrote thank you. And we love this on their little door hangers when they turned them back into us. So it's always good to be appreciated and Very have a little cool. treat during the day. Yeah. and so. Well, and that interaction with students and teachers, I think, is always great anytime you can have that. So um, you also said there was another idea you shared. And what was that? Yes. Yeah, so this is my administration. They are amazing. And they started something last year called the Woot Wagon. And basically at different holidays. So they did it on Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then we're in Louisiana. So we celebrate Mardi Gras as well. They go, they went around around during the hour and it was just the same card that we use and they knocked on our doors and we were able to pick a treat off the wagon and it's just the little things of you know just that little pick me up during the day yeah and the whole reason I had tweeted that out is um our principal um, so we've kind of followed the fish philosophy this year which is an, an older book you know about the the pike fish market how they throw the fish and everything and having fun and being I there I have read and, that book yeah, that's a great book yeah and well he also said cuz cuz our staff is we're kind of a lot of us are rule followers a little bit and he's like I want <laughs> us to have fun so he appointed a fun committee and their job is to help us have ways to have fun and So like at the beginning of staff development, we actually played about a good 10 or 15 minute never have I ever thing, but it was teacher things never have I ever. And it was hilarious. And then we sat down and I got to present after that my 50 plus tools to use in schools. And they were so attentive because we had been laughing, we had been moving and, you know, fun and, and loving the people you work with. I can't even begin to express what a difference it makes. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. But and getting you, the kids involved is great, too. You know, some people, though, put down this kind of stuff. They're like, well, we just need to treat teachers with respect and pay them more money. And that we're not saying that teachers don't need to make more money. And we're not saying that teachers don't need respect. We need respect and, and teachers should be paid uh, commensurate with other professions. But, you know, there's some people who look down on this sort of thing, um, Andre, and say, really a treat I mean, what do you think about that? <laughs> oh, well, I feel like when I'm teaching all day and doing my thing, uh, Coke, like last week we had a Coke and a honey bun. Like that was, that was just nice to have that little treat during the day. It was a little snack. I, everybody likes food, right? At our school, we're playing this really cool game of uh, Eagle Bingo. And like on each of the squares, like the staff, they have their own squares and the uh, teachers, we have our own squares. And every time you, make a bingo you get a prize and then if you get a full blackout of the card I know and it's things like you know 
uh, uh, pull duty for another teacher, um, you know, without them asking, or it's just, you know, a lot of it's stuff that we need to do, but it's just reinforcing, you know, like, you know, uh, the things that need to happen, but we're having so much fun with it. Like one of them is, you know, make a, make a colleague's day. And you're intentionally thinking right. about, well, how can I make a colleague's day? And one was make a student's day. And I made a student's day today. I didn't do it because of the bingo card, but it just gets you thinking in the direction, the strategic direction the school wants to go. Well, we make a, such a big deal about community building and relationships with our students. So doing that as a faculty, it's pretty powerful. So what makes you feel appreciated? I mean, obviously, these are two ideas, the Woot Wagon and the uh, room service, which are awesome. but you as a teacher, you've been teaching for a while now. What makes you feel like, okay, uh, somebody noticed? Um, well, I love, we also have another thing at our school that we do called I Believe Cards. And it's basically just a little card that we can write notes to the students. Um, like, I believe in you. And, you know, we can write them a little positive note. And sometimes we get those from our administrators as well as teachers. And those are really powerful. Just them saying, I've noticed that you've done this and you're outstanding in this way. And it's just great to hear nice things. You know, and a a previous guest suggested that um, we have, uh, that I use Adobe Spark. So I've been using Adobe Spark to make like little messages to send people text messages because, you know, just sometimes just a little cute little graphic that, and you can animate them too, that, you know, oh, you're awesome. You did an amazing job or thank you or whatever. It just makes a difference. It does. It just makes your day brighter, better. Even if you're already having a good day, just knowing. It's like a little affirmation. Yeah. It's like, yes, I'm doing what I need to. This is awesome. Well, and the unexpected things too, like um, did something, you know, two weeks ago, my principal, my headmaster was thrilled and he went and, you know, they have us list in the front office some things that we like. And he came up to me, he said, oh. I was so proud. Yeah, it's like your likes, you know, your favorite food, your right. favorite drink, your favorite, all that. And so they have the like book in the front office so that if a parent ever wants to do something for a teacher, then the parents know what the teacher's like. And um, he, so I had Starbucks on there because I do like <laughs> coffee. And, he, you know, he came up to me, he said, you know what? That was just so amazing. I'm really grateful. So here is, you know, and he had a note, he had written a handwritten note and then he had a Starbucks card in there. And I was like, You know, and then he said, I'm really proud of you. You really made us look good. And I was like, oh, you know, just those words just really meant a lot as well as being remembered. And it wasn't even expected or, you know, I was just doing my job and, but it felt good. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. So how can we foster this in our schools? I mean, you've been teaching long enough now that you've, I'm sure you've been in a school or been in a situation where this sort of thing was not the norm. How do we make it the norm? Um, Actually, I've been teaching at the same school for eight years, and I've been very blessed to feel like to have these administrators my whole career. Um, Wow. So you feel like you're appreciated. I mean, I guess you you have to because we're using your real name. But (laughs) (laughs) uh, but, uh, yeah, so as we finish up, why don't you give a word to um, people out there, educators out there, administrators out there about how we can just appreciate each other more. Well, I'll say it doesn't take a grand gesture, just something very small, a handwritten note, some candy at the sign-in sheet, some candy in the break room, something very small is all it really takes. Or having even like the students involved, having the kids write a thank you note to a teacher it doesn't take much, but we, it's just great to feel like you're appreciated. It is. And I will say as somebody who's been uh, losing weight and I have a very special diet I have to follow <laughs> to lose this weight is that it doesn't always have to be, you know, food either. Just sometimes a That's note true. or a, a you know, give me, give me Sharpies or give me uh friction pins or, you know, the things that I love in my classroom that, that makes a difference too. Okay. So Andre has some great suggestions for us, and uh, I hope that you will um, share your ideas as um, part of this conversation of things you can do to make teachers feel appreciated. And again, we're talking about culture. We're talking about the small things. Yes, we need the big things. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I had a lady last night who was just so upset because she, as we're talking on Twitter, because, you know, they haven't had a raise in 11 years. And in fact, they've had a pay cut. 
And um, we would never trivialize those in our profession who are not being treated like professionals. But if we can have small ways to appreciate each other, it does make it go better. Thanks, Andre. All right. Thank you. The holidays are just around the corner, and this is the perfect time to start planning your professional development. Get started by going to advancementcourses.com forward slash coolcat to explore over 250 graduate level online PD courses in 19 different subject areas. Plus, you can save 20% off your order using the code COOL20. That's just $120 per graduate credit hour or $160 for 50 clock hours. You can take courses on helpful topics like classroom management, teacher wellness, education technology, special education classes, and more. Advancement Courses is flexible and lets you work at your own pace to create things to improve your classroom. So go to advancementcourses.com forward slash cool. Today, your challenge is to find one way to appreciate the teachers at your school this week, even if it's just something little for someone who is in a classroom next to yours. Yes, having a fun committee and having administrators that do fun things is awesome, but you can do them too. I remember before I was at a school that had fun committee, sometimes I would get up somebody's favorite soda and I'd put a post-it note on it and just say, this is from your secret friend or something like that to encourage people. So there's lots of ways to do it and I challenge you to find one. 